You know what I'm saying? I just I feel like every everything that I'm making is just like everything. Everything don't have to be great. Just because I made it, it don't have to be great. Huh? Yeah. Yes, it have to be great because I you could. You know what I'm saying? I, so, I, I, so what makes you know that? Is it is it your opinion that no, I like so, it? No. So all right. So I will I will listen to it. I will listen to it. Um, I will listen to it over and over. Like. Like some songs that I, I like them and I, I I just do it to the corners because it it, it didn't it didn't meet the same the it didn't meet the same criteria that the the one that I made new so it's like I right, I could touch that up but I could come back to that but then I make something else new mm-hmm. so it's like I could do better I could always do better I, every time I do something is gonna be you, better you're evolving right. every time every you time create I'm, something yes, new there you go right it's exactly what you're doing I see I see my invo- I see my involvement. And everything that I make That's why And that's why I tell people As a human That's what you need to do You need to evolve Into a better you At all times Right Because you're not Doing it right If you're not evolving If you're not getting better At what you're doing You're not You're, not, you're staying stagnant That means you're in the same spot you're not, And that means In every aspect of right. life People right. That means The people you have around you That means with Your partner Your love life That means with business That means with you just being in the same place. I, you know what? I watched this skit, and this is what made me think of all of this. And this was a couple of years ago. The skit was basically that it was a guy that did a prank on people. And the prank that he did was he was really just talking shit. But he didn't know what he was saying was really fucking kicking shit. He sat next to people on the bus stop, and he asked them, how long the bus am we waiting for the bus? And people was like, damn, I'm waiting for the bus for like 25 minutes, 35 minutes. And they, he said, where you going? And they said, most of them some said to work, coming from work. And he said, how long have you been working there? And some of them said, like, I've been working there for 16 years. I've been working there for 18 years. And they said, and he said right after that, damn, are you still taking the bus? <laughs> And that's, that's exactly, exactly. That's a great, that's a great topic right there. That's a great. I and like now that. when he, no, I, when he said that shit, that shit was real shit. Yeah. yeah. At the end of the day, are you gonna take the bus and the Forever. train for the rest of your life? And, and people be like, oh, it's hard to pay insurance and for a car. No, the fuck is not. No, it's not. And not when you lease and finance, because some people always want to lease and finance. They want the latest shit because they want to look like this A, B, and C. I don't give a fuck. I'm gonna buy me a hoopty. And that shit gonna take me from point A to B and I'm gonna ride that shit to the wheel go off. People and I'm gonna have me another fly car for when I wanna pop out and do That's shit like that. Be and besides that, I'm not gonna lease a finance at all. I'm gonna own my own car. Right, so right. I never gonna wake up in the morning and worry about my shit. And my mic going, uh, hold up, wait hold a minute. Hold up, hold up. He's a chopper. Okay? I don't wanna wake up in the morning and my shit be going or anything like that. And a lot of people, if you think about it, the same amount of money you pay in a year for leasing and financing a car, you could have bought that fucking car. Hello? And had change you know in your saying? pocket. And people I think not I thinking leased like that. One car, I think I leased one car, and it was like, I really got caught into a deal with somebody, and I was like trying to help them out. Because I'm, I'm not with every car I ever owned, ever had, I owned. Uh, down to my Dodge Neon that I took to like 39 states all right and you know what's so crazy sometimes when you try to fucking help people and look out for people you always get screwed in the fucking end shoo but i was balling for a minute though i I was was lit i'm saying i'm a bull 2011 in 2011 you feel me (laughs) we had a system in that biz that shit was pearl white nigga was straight every day that's how they get you let me tell you one thing one thing i always tell people is fashion over style you know what I'm gonna say? Fashion over style. That's why I say fashion over style. Yeah. You pull up to a spot, you in a funky, funky ass drop top, crazy shit. You go to the party and you're getting lit. When you come out the party, you got nice bitches you talk to all night. Like, yo, we about to be out. And when you come outside, your car not there. That's a whole fact. That's the worst. Your car is not the fucking Uber. there. Then what are you gonna say? Oh, la, eh, nah. You think she gonna fucking still stay with you and be like, babe, oh, well, how much you caught? That bitch is out. 